Okay, so here's an interesting one that we haven't done for quite some time, and that is me playing nine holes. I'm at Hollywell Golf Club in North Wales, but I've got an interesting bag makeup. And we start things off on the third hole, 400 yards, and that driver used was the Ping G430 Max, and it does what it's done so far, and that's fly fairly high and uh, a decent long way, but maybe more importantly, down the middle. Off to a decent start on what is a fairly blustery day at Hollywell. Like I said, pretty decent position to be honest with you. Only left a 9-9 uh, nine, nine in hand. I've got the Srixen ZX5s is what I've chosen to play. Um, pretty decent strike to be fair. Turned it over a tad, um, which is never good. But I'm uh, more than happy with the strike. And obviously my swing was not great. And uh, all I can say is no sheep were harmed in the making of this video. So I think we all know uh, what kind of club I'll be reaching for now. And that is, of course, the Ping Chipper. If I had it, but I couldn't find it, I'd left it in another bag. Zo instead, we are playing another 9-iron. It is that, uh, that ZX5 9-iron. But this thing's got plenty of decent feel in it. And uh, just bump that one along. You can see the undulations in and around Hollywell at the greens. And it's key that you've got that kind of shot in the bag, or at least I think it is anyway. Okay, so putters not changed. I'm trying to keep this consistent in all the videos that I film. So this is the... Um, obviously the Lab Golf uh, Mez putter, and uh, that's the reason it's in the bag, and that's the reason I'm trying to keep it consistent in there. I'm just trying to, uh, well, just familiarise myself with it, get as good as I can get with it. It's been a really consistent club for me. Right, on to the next. Uh, for those of you who know Hollywell, we've skipped a few. We're very much choosing, uh, well, very much, I think, to be honest with you, very much what I consider to be the best holes, at least, and three and seven run parallel, so this is seven going back up very much against the wind. Um, I'm again going with that driver, that G430 Max driver, which, like I said, has been so, so good. I played another 18 holes in it with friends um, just a few days prior to this, and it was really consistent again. Um, and, I mean, I think that ball flight slightly, or the shot tracer exaggerates the curve in that because it was a really well-struck shot. It's definitely the shape of shot I was looking for, but made its way slightly down to that right-hand side, which is effectively the shape of this hole. So this had taken quite a wicked bounce, to be honest with you, and it was a lot closer to the gorse than I thought. Uh, we've got wind in. I've got a five iron still to go. This is very low on the stroke index in terms of uh, a Hollywell Golf Club, and it's low for a reason. I've got a few things I'm concentrating on the swing here, and uh, this is a five iron, by the way, and, uh, well, there's no shot tracer required for that because you can see that I've probably knocked it up just another um, 50 yards up the fairway. Not happy with that one bit, but uh, yeah, well, these things happen. So now I've got nine iron in. It's probably, I mean, to be quite honest with you, it's a full wedge or what I've tried to hear, which is quite a controlled nine iron. Again, you'll see a little bit of movement to the feet there, trying to get comfortable, just getting a little bit or a little bit less flat in that backswing. This was right on the flag. And to be honest with you, it was a great turnaround from being, you know, hitting effectively what was a duff shot with the five iron and then really hitting a ball straight at the flag with no movement whatsoever with the nine. So we've got a putt for par, uh, probably an unrealistic putt for par. Yeah, or is it? I mean, this max thing just, um, yeah, I roll in far more putts than I ever have done. And uh, clearly, I've got to put that down to this putter. But that was an incredible par and maybe not deserved. Right, so number eight at Hollywell. This is where you can see the mound in the middle or at the houses, if you like. And you can go right to find one fairway um, or you can go left down the other fairway. A really solid ball. Played this a uh, couple of days before in exactly the same way, which is go down that left-hand side. In my opinion, it leaves a better angle into the green, uh, which you'll see very shortly. But again, a really good solid strike with that G425. Uh, G430 driver, I keep on referring to its old, uh, yeah, its old title. So as you'll see, I mean, there's two flags, one to the left, if you can see flickering in the wind to the left of the houses. That's the actual, the first hole here at Hollywell. Uh, we're playing down to the flag to the right, which hopefully you can see that I'm aiming at now, which is um, hole number eight. But it's just a real good angle in from this side especially if you hit the ball as well as I just did. That was a really good uh, drive. Um, you know, you see the ball bouncing there after the shot tracer. Just a 
real poor wedge shot, came out of it very quickly. So this now is just a chip and run back with the sort of nine iron. Um, quite happy with this shot. You're really, at this time of year, looking for a little bit of a good look in terms of the bounce, but I'm happy with that. But really, I shouldn't be looking at this for par after that drive. That should be where I should be in terms of the wedge shot in. So a little bit disappointed there. So back to the Mez putter. Can it do a job and hole out again? And the answer to that is no. It was a decent enough roll and uh, there's no way you can keep relying on a putter to rescue you. So that unfortunately was a bogey five. Today's video is brought to you in partnership with Hot Golf, the online golf megastore, bringing you the hottest deals in golf and, of course, the clubs featured in today's video. Find the link to the Hot Golf website in the description below and check out some incredible giveaways and offers. Right, next hole. I mean, in all honesty, this is a typical example where confidence is key and that's confidence in the club because, really speaking, I generally play a five or a three wood, but because I'm feeling that good about the driver right now, it's got to be the go-to club whenever I can use it. And uh, yet again, absolutely ripped this. It just did not move. It's a, This hole is a dog leg from right to left. That's right across the angle and uh, the perfect position you want to find yourself in, to be honest. Um, so again, what you'll notice here, I play one of three irons, and that is a five, a seven, or a nine. And that's because they're the only irons that I have in my bag and this kind of thing, this is how I enjoy playing golf. I don't feel like you need to carry a full set of clubs around with you. And uh, there's not many occasions where I really get stuck, to be honest with you. Right, rain is falling. It's gone a bit grim, but this is a really good iron shot. Like I said, nine iron in. And uh, whilst I've decided to cover the hole with my back, I can assure you that was Ryan at it. It's just gone a little bit long. Um, it's a long putt and um, maybe 30 foot in that. One thing I like about the Mez putt is just being confident, nice nice stroke, get that ball roll at the hole. And at this stage, I could not believe that I was gonna hole yet another putt of serious length on camera, but it didn't, it just stayed out. Uh, but we did get a tap in four, so that's a good hole. And at this stage, yeah, weather had turned pretty nasty. So much so that we took a little bit of a tea break and waited for the rain to go off and then the blue skies came out, which was nice to see. Right, this is a par five, one of my favourite holes at Hollywell. And yes, you guessed it, driver is out. I just hit a really decent ball again. Maybe leaked it a tad to the right, but you know I'm more than happy with uh, that in relation to where I was wanting it to be and where it ended up. Then, uh, yeah, really super pleased. I love these sort of, uh, well, hillocks, as I would call them. Um, if you were in Scotland, they're kind of uh, grassy mounds and um, I've ended up in a good position, I suppose, like I said, should be a little bit further left off the tee. This is a five iron and uh, it's just a really nice controlled iron shot down. Don't forget there's a par five and what that should leave in is a nice little wedge into the green. Uh, so fairly sensible at this stage. Played this, you know, fairly nice and nice and controlled. It's just, again, the, the sort of distance control was not quite there and also a little bit of check on the ball which meant that it spun back to far shorter and again you'll notice through the round this is when I'm losing shots in terms of how far away I am from the hole when I've got a wedge in hand you notice you can't even see the ball uh, right now and uh, from the other side I can't even see the hole but yeah, what I can tell you is uh, that is ridiculous I literally could not see that ball enter into the cup because it was, uh, like I said, out of view, which I'm explaining to Hannah. And uh, I cannot believe that I've just sunk a putt of that distance. But either way, that's a birdie. Right, strange hole. Um, this has been this is a winter tee and uh, it plays as a par three. Generally plays as a par four, which is a much better hole as a par four. But as a par three, it's so, so tight. I'm aiming right of the green. And believe me, the green isn't there. The green is where the pylon is straight in front of me. So it's a horrendous push out to the right. The only thing is, it's that far out that I knew that I was near the green on the 15th hole, which we'll see very, very shortly. Um, or 14th hole is that, I'm not sure. Anyway, what I, I, I had pretty much couldn't have landed any better in terms of gotten away with things. Nothing in the way. Able to uh, hit a wedge, which was a 58 wedge. 
and from there to be honest with you that's a pretty decent shot and all you can do is give yourself a little bit of a uh, a roll of the putt now once again there's putter in hand the thing is this thing is you know putting golf in general is all about confidence and i quite honestly don't feel like i can miss with this thing even though i did and but it's it's the element of standing up to the ball and stroking your putt with a great deal of confidence makes a huge difference um, to your game. And that's to say whether you're standing up with driver in hand, putter in hand, whatever it is, it's a great feeling to be able to, um, well, it doesn't always last for long, but it's a great feeling when you've got it, where you think you're just going to hold everything. Anyway, par three, just 150 yards um, into the breeze, seven iron in hand. And uh, this is, I don't know what went on, it was horrendous. Um, even if I slow down the swing and watch your back again, it was pretty darn disgusting. And uh, you can see I'm talking to a gent over the far side who, um, yeah, he wonders how I've got there as well. But I hit a chip and run to keep under the branches. And uh, it literally carried just a little, maybe two or three yards too far, really, because if it lands in the sort of fluffy grass, the heavier grass, then it kills it. Uh, but as it happened, it carried the whole lot and uh, hit the down slope, and as you can see, I finished right the way over the other side of the green, which was um, a bit embarrassing. Maybe as embarrassing as this putt, really, which wasn't too good either. And certainly, all of a sudden, from um, yeah, holding big birdie putts, um, not feeling like I'm gonna miss anything, all of a sudden, this is a putt for a bogey on a very straightforward par three. And it shows, don't get ahead of yourself and make sure you play one shot at a time. Anyway, roll up the putt. It was a good, positive roll is what I'll take from that. It didn't break like I thought it might and perhaps might do actually in the summer months. It just, uh, yeah, a little bit fluffier this time of year. But anyway, a double bogey out of absolute nowhere and uh, yeah, pretty careless stuff. Right, next hole, par four. Get your head together. We've got a, um, this is a five hybrid. Absolutely love this thing again so versatile I uh, just played a nice easy shot it's not a long par four if you get a half decent position in and around uh, the road area as I call it that crossroads then you're only ever left with a wedge in which is what I had in hand again you see a little bit of shuffling of feet and trying to get in position I'm trying to change the ball position with my wedges um, which again you know it's interesting because I've missed the green but I said to Hannah off camera, I'm kind of happy the strike was really good. And it's not a million miles off, really. But this is a delicate one. Again, that little 9-iron nudge over the top with the SX-5 looked really good when I played it. Quite soft hands, and I thought, like I said, um, it was going to be in pretty good nick. But all of a sudden, yeah, that's rolled six or eight foot past. And from where I am yet again with a wedge in hand for second shot... I shouldn't be looking at these kind of putts to make par. This is uh, it's where you're leaking shots on the course. And all I can say is thank God for that putter because it's rescued another par, which, uh, yeah, shouldn't be doing it that way. Anyway, next hole is a par five. Um, this is my favourite hole at Hollywell Golf Club. Um, Tee shot is all about, it's you know, it's fairly narrow to be honest. If you go with driver, the longer you go down this fairway in terms of the tee shot, the more trouble you're bringing into play. But again, confidence is right up right now with driver. And uh, yet again, I had a really good solid ball down the middle and couldn't be any happier with where uh, that's come to rest and give you a real opportunity. In the summer months, particularly of going for this in two, this is odd for me in many ways so I've taken five wood out again five wood the longer you go down this hole it comes into a bottleneck and you're bringing in trouble and um, I hit a really solid five wood but just turned it over a tad from right to left and what you'll see now is that we end up in a bit of trouble and that's because of in my opinion poor club selection so I ended up in that gorse bush there which uh, yeah there's that yellow ball and you just should, shouldn't be in that position, in my opinion. You should take that out of play. So if I'd have played at maybe six iron, I was plenty enough 
far enough down to still only leave a short iron in. But playing that five wood brought the trouble into play. And it was a pretty stupid shot, to be honest with you. Anyway, um, I used the word hoik, a wedge, out of that rough. It's a basin green, everything gathers, so if you can get anything going towards it, within it, then it's going to gather pretty much. Uh, well, you're, you're going to be on the putting service, let's put it that way. So, not too bad from where I was. Uh, so I've played one, two, drop three. I've played four, so I've got a put for a five. It's just, it's ridiculous. And I have no words, to be quite honest with you, because I'm not sure how many that is that I've rattled in now, but that's... A lot of puts, and that's another part. <laughs> right, um, super little golf hole. Um, this is the kind of, this typifies what, you, you know, good short golf holes are all about. Um, maybe playing 120 yards, playing 9-9, and uh, it's green or bust in many ways. And when the wind's blowing, and if we had a bit of drone shot now, you'd see just how good this hole is. It doesn't film when the camera's behind my back too well. And we, we'd be much better from an elevated position, but it's a stunning little golf hole. As it happened, uh, just held on to the, well, obviously left fringe, missed the green a little bit. And now this has got a big swing on it from left to right. Um, and also there's a sloping, it's very much sloping away from me, so downhill. So that's quite wide, but you'll see now not wide enough because without that pace, this ball just falls away and continues to fall away. This is my final hole, don't forget, this is uh, nine holes, um, although it is only the 15th at Hollywell. These are the nine holes I put together. So this would be nice to finish for another par. Um, but unfortunately, I know there's a bit of a pull watching that one back, but either way, it didn't go in. But um, all I can tell you was, I drove the ball really well. I was happy enough with the majority of my irons, obviously delighted in terms of the performance of the putter, the one thing that was obviously missing considerably was my wedge game, which clearly needs a little bit of work before the main season starts. Anyway, that's a little bit of an update as to how my game is going, a video that is a little bit different in terms of me playing nine holes. I hope you enjoyed that one. Let me know your thoughts, and uh, I will probably see you all tomorrow night.